God. You, you, you need to remind me, record, because I, I pay my attention. I focus to the, to the lecture and just I forgot some time. Okay. Suppose that one function, okay, by the way, is again f of x. It's given graphically like that. Look, look, zero, zero. They like some more zero, zero. Four comma negative four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's a negative four. At that point, it's a point four comma negative four. Oh. Four comma negative four. And this is zero, zero. And the second point is, no, sorry, I make a mistake. Carajo. Okay, is, okay, the given function is two comma negative four. So two here and negative four. Here. This point is the point two comma negative four. And the second point is negative two, negative four. Negative one, negative two. And negative four here. This point is negative two comma negative four. So sea, my function look like like that, like a b, b inverted b. Uh -huh. However, they want to you transform it like that. Y equal one half in the inside the balance. Sorry, 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 sorry. F negative one half x. Okay, only one transformation, only one, only one, only one transformation. What do you think? What kind? Categorize what kind of transformation it is. When you multiply, or in this case, no multiply, it's division, no? Because it's one half and divided by two. It's negative half. Negative half. What means negative half? Negative half? Negative half? No, no, negative half. It's positive half. No, it's positive half. We can do. No, 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 no reflection, align. Reflection is when it's negative. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, listen to me. When you have that situation, vertical shift. No, you, you, Sabrina. Okay, 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 okay. What's going on? Guy, listen to, to me. Okay, suppose that in the function notation, okay, super fantastic way to visualize the transformation. Suppose that f of x plus something, Ah, this is a very good shift. Of course, up because two is positive. See, it's negative, it's down. Uh, but in this case, no, it's no plus or no minus, it's multiplication. Uh, so your multiplication by the number outside is vertical. Ah, a horizontal compress. Okay, okay. FL Frank, no, a Frank. Say, guess. Horizontal, aha, aha, aha. When you have multiplication like that, suppose like that, okay, inside, to say horizontal effect. When you multiplication outside, it's vertical effect. But in this case, multiplication by two is horizontal effect. But mm -mm, no, comp no, no compress, it's a stretch. Let me explain in detail this idea. Look, when you have a function, and your multiplication by D, the effect and the point is the Y stays the same. The Y doesn't change because you affect the X. And X divided by D. It's completely opposite operations. So multiplication, uh -huh, keep in mind that when you operate outside the parentheses, look, the effect is X stays the same and Y duplicate. Ah, however, when you are doing this effect, uh, y stays the same and x divided by two. Completely opposite operation. So inside the parentheses, opposite operation. Outside the parentheses, it's the same. Fraction and multiplication, then no fraction. A division because one half x is equivalent to say x divided by two. Yes or no? When you multiplication by one half, is equivalent to divided by two. Uh -huh. Therefore, what is the conclusion? What do you think happened in this transformation? What is the categorization of this transformation? Or another word, what is the name? 
Stretch. Sabrina C, es Stretch. Pero Horizontal Stretch o Vertical Stretch. Sabrina. Horizontal Stretch. You are close, a Sabrina, pero no. You are wrong. Es Horizontal. Ya, ya, ya. You are right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Sabrina is right. Es, es Horizontal Stretch. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, you are right. Horizontal Stretch. Unbelievable, pero es true. Let me prove, let me prove, let me prove, let me prove. Suppose que you don't know very well, you don't understand very well. Ok, no problema. No, ay, carajo. No problema, no problema. Let me try, let me try in other way. Let me try. Yes, let me erase this. Ok, let, let me transform it point by point. In this case, it's easy because we have only one transformation. No? Suppose the first point gets 0,0. I suppose que esté the same. 0,0 is nice. No, 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 always. When you transform it this, using this, you divide by two, pero es 0,0, no? We go zero divided by two. So actually it's zero divided by two, comma, divided by two, no, multiplication by two, because it's opposite, opposite operation, multiplication by two. Uh, es 2 times 0, coma 0. Es obvio que es 0, 0. Digo 2 times 0, es 0. Por ejemplo, ahora, 2, 2, 4. Cuando estás haciendo la transformación, ok, el segundo componente, que es Y, está en el No afecta porque mi transformación está inside de paréntesis. Pero es opuesto por eso. Es. Eh, multiplication. Entonces, tú tienes F4. Wow, F4, F4. O sea, that point now is this point. Let me use in blue color. O sea, this point está saying. Uh -huh. And likewise, I suppose que the point negative 2, comma, negative 4, when you transform it, es negative 4, comma, 4, ¿no? Professor, I'm going to leave. Come back. Okay, okay, okay. Lauren. Negative four, negative four. Negative four, negative four. Because you, again, you multiplication by two there. Uh -huh. Entonces, en the transformation is negative three, negative four here. Uh -huh. This point was four comma negative four. This point was negative four comma comma negative four. No? Ajá, ajá, ok, ok, ok. I come back again to the park. I don't understand very well. I, uh, somebody, Sabrina, I suppose que say que es horizontal stretch. I make a sense que es horizontal stretch. Oh, yes. This look like a B. Ajá. Uh -huh. However, when you apply the transformation, the B is a little bit wider. Open. Super clear. We are the best. We are the best. Ajá, uh -huh. Randy is clear. Okay, good. one more, no? One more, the last one, the last one, the last one, the last one of the transformation. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Ajá, uh -huh. suppose this example. Okay. X, Y. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the function, the name of the function is G. It's given graphically. So it says 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This point is the point, 2, 4. Uh -huh. And we have another point, que es negative 2, 2, negative 2, 2, here. This point is the point, negative 2, 2. Uh -huh. And the function is something like that, one segment line. That's my function G. They want you apply the following transformation, but y equal twice U X. Multiplication by two. Yeah, you multiplication by two, but by two, remember, it's outside the parentheses. Uh -huh. So when this situation happens, how you categorize that transformation? What is the name of this transformation? Name.
What is the name? What is the name? What is the name? This is vertical shift, horizontal shift, reflection, uh, uh, vertical, vertical, uh, vertical stretch, very well aligned, vertical stretch. Vertical stretch because you are multiplied by two, okay, two is a number greater than one. Uh -huh. so basically, the point x, y after the transformation is given by x, y because you multiply by two outside, and when you multiply by two outside the parentheses, you affect the y component exactly in the same direction. Multiplication, multiplication. Ah, so you multiplication by two inside the parentheses, so you affect the x component and opposite operation. I cannot see the whiteboard. Why not, Sabrina? Everyone saw the whiteboard, no? Yes or no? Andreina, tell me. Yes, entonces Sabrina, uh, maybe you um, get out temporarily and, and restart again. Sometimes happen. I don't know why. Okay, some people don't see the whiteboard. Okay, so basically, see, I do the uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh, okay, okay, Sabrina. Okay, so say, suppose can I am doing transformation one by one. The, the, the point 2,4 after the transformation is. 2,8, no? Okay, I got it, <laughs> I got it, okay. I don't know what happened here, so this is the, because the white, this whiteboard is Microsoft whiteboard, and this is a little bit sophisticated application. I don't know. I like, I like. Uh -huh. So it's 2,8, so this point is now 2,8, one well, of eight, I suppose, okay, here. This point are now is 2,8 because you multiplication by two, the y component, no? And the second is a negative 2, comma 2, no? And when you are doing the transformation, it's negative 2, comma 4. And negative 2, comma 4 is here. This point is a point, negative 2, comma 4. Okay, now we're connecting this point and this point. And this is my new segment line. Guess so, you guys, look at that. Is vertical stretch, vertical stretch, vertical stretch. Okay, 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 vertical stretch. You see now clear or confusing? You feel strong or you need one more example? Huh? One more. Okay, okay. What is your name, Miss? Liv Colon Sit Dan Losting. Okay, okay. Strong, strong. Dan Losting say, I am strong. No, but she say the Yasmin. Wow, beautiful name. And you put this long nickname. Wow. No, no, no. Next time you you sign in using your your fantastic and beautiful name. Okay, well, let's do it one more, one more, one more. Do you want complicated or, or easy? Piece okay or hard? Hard. <laughs> okay, hard for you now. But you help me. Okay. Suppose, suppose. Suppose this. Okay, the function is H. Uh huh. One point zero zero, one two three four. Again, same point. Uh huh. And this is two. This is four. This is zero. One two three four. Uh huh. And this point is two comma four. Uh huh. The function is like that. It's similar, we did for one similar to this. For the transformation, no. The transformation is y equal minus h of x minus one. We need to perform the transformation in this graphically. Mm -hmm. Does it categorize how many transformations you can see? How many? How many? How many transformations? 
Two. Which one? Transformation one. Remember, according to the order of operation, a reflection, oh, very well. What kind of reflection? What kind? What kind of reflection? Because we have two reflections, no? About, about, very well, about x axis. So using my common sense, si you apply reflection about the x axis, I suppose that this triangle is going down like that, right? But okay, 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 let's do it step by step. Uh, what is the transformation number two? And what is the transformation number two? Que is minus one here, outside the parentheses. What is, what is the name? What is the name? Very good shift. In what direction? Very good shift. In what direction? What direction? It's going down one unit. One unit down. One unit down. It's obvious, right? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, in this case, we can use in the common sense. So look, the first transformation is something like that. This is, okay, okay, okay. Look at that, look at that. This is uh, negative four here. Uh -huh. So this this point stays the same because in the first transformation, the thing we are doing is change the sign of the x. So basically, we have x comma y without transformation. When you apply the transformation, is x comma negative y. So basically, we change the sign of the y component because it's outside the parentheses, you know. So it's a negative four. This point is the point two comma negative four. And this is zero. This is zero comma zero. Stay the same. And this is four comma zero. Zero have no sign. So this is the transformation number one. Okay. And make it sense according to the name reflection above x axis. Flip it. Now, very good shift. Very good shift is down. Okay. One point by point. So the, the second transformation is the green color. If you take the point, of course, the point in the blue, because the red it was the, the black, sorry, it was the original, it's a history. You, are, you apply transformation sequentially, one by one, step by step, pa, 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 pa. It's minus one. So it's x stays the same, and y subtracting one. So you subtracting one point by point, zero comma zero would be now zero comma negative one. This point is the point zero comma negative one. This point now is four comma negative one. And this point would be a two comma negative five. Okay, here. Two comma negative five, because it's negative four, no? You don't see very well that four. This is four. Uh -huh. Now, my graph, my final answer look like that. Any question? Super. Okay. I want to practice now. See, you have no problem. You feel strong, 100 point. Transformation is easy for you. Uh -huh. Transformation, remember, there are two possibilities. Okay. One possibility is like that, okay. it's given the function, like a graphic. But another possibility is when it's, it's, it's no graphics, it's equation. No? But we practice, we practice in, in the review package. Okay. Uh, let's move on to, so you agree, let's move on to the, another, another idea that I want to discuss with you now, okay? No transformation anymore, for the moment, for the moment, temporary. Let me see composite function, Gets it's confusing. You have to function. Semicolon, we have another function. Uh -huh. And they asked me, find F composition G. Uh, however, we have two, two answers. The first answer is the new expression, no? new expression. So you need to find the expression that represent this. And the second answer is the state is domain. Okay, this is easy because it's just algebra. But this is a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit more abstract. But okay, don't worry, be happy. Remember, in the composition, we have two functions, F and G. But the ordering is extremely important. Okay, who is the first function? 
G is the first one. Why is the first? Because it's close to the domain value, que sex. It's completely different idea. See, we combine that way. In this case, the first function is F and the second is G. So this is sequentially. And in general, this is completely different. So when you combine, so the order is extremely important in the composition. In general, uh, F composition G is no equal G composition. In general, in particular example, maybe yes, but in general, no. Uh -huh. So now, Let's move it on. So yes, G first. This is the first one. This is the first one, according to this order, according to this symbolic way. And you replace this expression here and here. Okay, so my new expression is F composition G of X is equal 3 over X divided by 3 over x plus 3. Do you follow me, the idea that I'm doing? Good. Leave it like that. No, 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 no. Don't leave it like that. You must do something. You know? For example, your multiplication by x top and bottom, because I want to eliminate this complex fraction. To so say 3 all, always 3. 3 plus 3x. Oh, super nice expression. Yeah, I did the first part. Boom, boom, boom. Any question? Aha. Uh -huh. Now let's move on to the domain. Domain is a complicated part. Because domain, let me put the formula for the domain. Domain of the composition is domain of composition is equal domain remember it's a set it's the interval and you know never also i never know always you express it using mm, the interval notation okay to say then domain is uh, the idea the formula no is domain of the first function is g domain of the first function is g intersection we'll say and intersection Intersection, this is intersection, this is equivalent to say and domain of the new expression. Domain of new expression. This is the formula. Okay, 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 okay. I go back. Who is the domain of G? I come back to G. G is this expression. And remember uh, to find. The domain of the any function, the agreement that we studied was you suppose that all real number is set restrictions. And we have three kinds of restrictions number one, number two, number three. Number one is division by something, the denominator part not zero. Number two is a radical something, is non negative expression inside, non negative. Non negative, non negative. So non negative means create positive or zero. And when this division is positive. This is the classical, okay, I repeat 45 times. I repeat, I repeat 46 times for you now. Uh -huh. But in this case, apply the, the restriction number one because it's division two thing. It's obvious the division two thing. Yeah, I don't care. The top part is not important. It's totally irrelevant. The important part is the bottom part, is x. So x no zero. This is the domain of g. Because the only value that to be on the fine, g is so x no zero. You can express it like that. No, no, no. no. This is the, the, the temporal idea. After the final answer, you will express it in interval notation. Uh -huh. so let's move on to the domain for the new expression. What is the new expression? This is a new expression. And again, it's a fraction. No? So it's 3x, 3 plus 3x, no zero. Okay, you go be here. This intersection, 3 plus 3x, no zero. Uh, leave it like that. No, of course, no. You solve in this elementary equation. I convert temporary to equation. Uh -huh. 3x equal three minus 3 divided by 3. And negative 1. 
negative one. Actually, uh -huh, I delete this symbol to feel countable, but this is not equal. So basically, you have two bad guys. You have two bad guys. We have two restrictions in this composite function. The first one, no zero, and the second one, no negative one. Uh, so you want to express it. This idea in interval notation, my recommendation is visualize the whole real number line. The basic that we have two holes. The first hole is here in zero. And the second hole is in negative one. Therefore, my domain is from negative infinity to negative one, no including negative one, from negative one to zero, no including zero, and from zero to positive infinity. Well, my final answer, the final answer, the domain of the composition, so the domain of this, I don't want to repeat this idea, this sentence, is answer is from negative infinity, comma negative one, union, negative one comma zero, union, zero comma infinity. End of story. Any question? Any question? Uh -huh, no, okay. Do you want to see another example? I bring another. I bring another. I bring another. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's do another, but you help me to understand this new one. Okay, yes, please, Sabrina. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Suppose this. Suppose that we have to function again. H function is x squared plus one. And you have f, k is four over nine x. Uh -huh. And the question is two questions, basically. Number one and number two is form the composition h and h. Wow, twice of x. And remember, we expect two answer. We expect new expression and domain. And f, composition f. Wow, repetition again, but f. So you combine h by, by itself and f by itself. You need to find new expression and state its domain. Okay. Okay. Okay, to so say H composition H is like uh, X squared plus one. It's the same repetition. Go, go, go inside this. To so say X squared plus one is square plus one. Something like that. You can leave it like that. You can. You can, but uh, in my opinion, more elegant. Uh, expand. <coughs> expand this. Okay, it's like x squared plus one times x squared plus one. No? You foil is x to the full power plus x squared plus x squared again plus one plus one. And this one is the last one, case this. This one is this one. And we combine later x to the full power plus twice x squared plus two. No? Okay, and this is my first final answer. Fantastic. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think about domain? Okay, I need opinion. Well, no question, guys. Do you understand this or no? Clear or confusing? Clear or confusing? It's clear, no? This is algebra. Uh huh. Um, what about domain? What do you think about domain? You say let's focus it in. And the function h. What is the domain of this function? What is the domain, in your opinion? Uh -huh. Sabrina is confusing. What part is confusing, Sabrina? Sabrina, uh, activate the microphone. What part is confusing? In the in the first, no? What part is confusing? This is uh, the, 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 okay, okay, okay. It's h inside h. So I copy two times. H x squared plus one. You put put inside this. So you replace you replace x for the entire expression for the h. 
and the rest. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Lusting, say that the domain is oriented. Super good. Because, uh -huh, okay, okay, come, okay. Because we have no restriction. It's a polynomial function. X squared plus one. Actually, no polynomial, it's quadratic function. It's one particular case of the polynomial. And we have no restriction. We have no division. We have no uh, square root. So it's nice. It's all real number the domain. And the all real number you represent from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? Let's move on to the second example, that is F, composition F. So F by itself. So I want to copy again for over 9x, and you replace this expression here, nx. So it says 4 over 9, no x anymore, no, you put like a box. Now inside the box, we have 4 over 9x. We what the hell? 4 over 9x, something like that. Do you understand the idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happened? What's going on? What's going on? Well, well, this 9 is canceled. This 4 is canceled. And this x flip it to the top like x. Wow, this is the new expression. Okay, go to the f composition. F. By the way, this is identity. Identity function. And so I promise again one moment when you study when the two combine two functions and the answer is identity is because it's inverse, but it's just another topic we discuss in your phone. Okay, what about domain? I need I need to understand domain. Remember, domain of the composition is formed by two pieces. It's domain of the first, the domain of the F, the first is domain of F intersection domain of new expression okay uh, i form it by two piece uh -huh. what about uh, what do you think about domain of f what is the domain of f let me copy f again f of x is equal um, four over nine x what is the domain of f is all real number or we have restriction? Is all real number or we have restriction? Restriction, uh, 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 what value is on to be undefined? Uh, what value to be undefined? Uh, what value, Randy, and what value to be undefined if? No, no idea, loss. Remember, okay, again, uh, it's zero, it's zero, it's zero, it's zero. You put zero in X, zero times nine is zero, division by zero on the five. Okay, that, that part is no zero. No zero, it's a bad guy. Uh -huh. uh, what about new expression? Ooh, this is a new expression. What is the domain of the, this expression? What is the domain? of the new expression. What is that? Domain of X, X alone. X alone is, is, is like a linear function, no? Y equal X. All real number, very well, all real number. It's all real number. Uh, now, intersection this and this. One is easy. Because all real number represent the entire all real number line. However, I discover one restriction is in zero, because the first part is zero. Therefore, in zero, we have a hole. And the rest is this. Okay. Therefore, the answer is. The main answer is from negative infinity to zero, no including zero union, zero comma infinity. Okay, this is a this is the one way to express it. Guess the traditional way I, I want you answer me in the test. But we have another possibility, no? 
Okay, and the test has specification that notation. You can write like that. This answer is equivalent, equivalent to say, okay, it's x such that x not zero. End of story. This is another notation. Okay, sometimes it's com more, more convenience than this, but it's okay. I like that way in the test. Any question? Any question? Do you want another, another example? Uh huh. Okay. No, no question. Okay. Do you want another example? Okay. I, I have here in one paper. Yeah. Another example, but not the composition, you know, the combination. Combination using multiplication and, and subtraction. So another possibility to combine a functions is uh, using arithmetic operation, no? Uh -huh. If actually in the test, you can see something like that. For example, you have two functions. It's one over three X squared plus two. Uh -huh. Semicolon, another function is G, is a square root, 5x plus 4. Uh -huh. Plus 4, yeah. Because I want to find F multiplication G. Uh -huh. And remember, exactly the same two answer expression, new expression. new expression and stay is domain. Uh, let's do in multiplication and let's do in subtraction. Exactly the same, same idea. Well, no, I, I suppose it's easy because the new expression is piece of okay. It's F times G of x is you put together, multiplication, no? So says when you multiplication, this is a fraction, top a one, multiplication by the radical, is the radical, 5x plus four, divided by three x squared plus two. This is my new expression of the multiplication. Okay? You can manipulate, no, no, it's okay. It's a little like that, perfect. Uh -huh. uh, subtraction, uh, subtraction is the same. To be seen is one over three x squared plus two minus g gets radical five x plus four. We can combine, we can, but it's not important. I suppose it's totally irrelevant. The problem is the domain. The problem is the domain. The problem is the domain. In this case, what is the formula? One of the formula is domain when you have composition two function is equal the domain of the first function doesn't matter what is the first what is the second the order is not important well it's important in the subtraction but for the domain is not important intersection domain of g uh -huh, and subtractions are remove the part when it's division Okay, in which the function in the bottom is zero. Uh -huh. In this case, we have division here. We have radical. Wow. Okay, so let me set up the uh, restriction. We have restriction. Remember, I, I, I repeat 46 times the classical restriction one, two, three, no? Division. The denominator no zero. Radical in the top, the expression non negative. E radical at the bottom, mm -hmm. you have no radical at the bottom, but okay, okay, let me copy that. It is expression inside positive, only positive. Okay, so let me set out the restriction. The restriction is, well, basically, we apply the restriction one and restriction two. two three, no apply in this example. So says you copy uh, the expression in the bottom, que is 3x squared plus 2, 0. Okay, I'm using this idea. And, que okay, synonymous intersection, this is this is a word, and this symbol is, is, is synonymous. 
Well, this is more using logic, mathematical logic is, and this is using set notation theory. And domain of G is, domain of G, uh, well, I suppose that this is one, and this is another case, five X plus four, then or equal to zero. That's it. So the domain is all real number, except the restriction that we try to find. Okay, let's solve first the this equation or this inequality. But I don't feel good with this symbol. This symbol is confusing for me. I put it like an equal. I know very well that this is completely opposite, complementary of this. But I feel good because it's a quadratic equation, it's a piece of okay for me. You say 3x squared is equal to minus 2 divided by 3. So you apply the square root method. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Therefore, x squared is equal to minus 2 over 3. And you apply the square root both sides. Mm, look at what happened, plus or minus something. I don't finish this because I realize that it's an imaginary solution. Okay, so I repeat one more time. When you try to find something in the domain, or not in the domain, anything in algebra, and you get imaginary solution or complex solution, it's because in the real, in the real, in the real, in the real line, do not exist. So imaginary and complex is the is the object, mathematical number, pero que live in another dimension, another planet, in Jupiter, maybe, right? Not in the Earth, here. No, it's not real. Therefore, immediately, can you find imaginary solution? It's because do not exist. Uh, the restriction I try to find in this moment fail, do not exist because it's imaginary. Okay, so I don't want. Don't worry for this restriction. I focus it in the second restriction. 5x plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. So for x. 5x greater than or equal to minus 4 divided by 5. x greater than or equal to negative 4 over 5. Okay, by the way, this is negative 0 0.8, no? In decimal. Okay, okay, okay. If you want to express it, in interval notation, mm -hmm. remember the mnemonic device is using the discussion. No? Some people say, no, professor, I don't need it. Okay, I, I respect. This is zero. This is negative point. This is negative one. To say this number lie here, close to negative one, but here. Uh -huh. And it's, in, it's negative zero point five. Uh -huh. And this is to the right, no? To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. You highlight that part. Because it's greater than. And include the number. Yeah, I'll include it because it's equal. This is a bracket, symbolic way. But what is the final answer? Of each domain. It's bracket, a negative four fifth. If you want to write like a fraction or decimal, it doesn't matter. It's the same to infinity. End of story. Any question? Any question? Any question? Any question? Super strong. My student is the best in Miami Dade College, or no? Okay. Okay. Let me go. Be, let me try now. Yeah. Forget about everything. Let me try to explain the last topic you never see before with me. E you can see in the test, but it's super, super, super easy. Is determine. So look in the graph. Look in the graph. Look in the graph of the function. Determine if the function is increasing. Decreasing. Or constant. Increasing, decreasing or constant. OK, what is that? This is, suppose that you have two value of the x. I pick intentionally x2 is bigger than x1, always. Uh -huh. so when you plug in the function, 
See, the answer is if this is this, uh -huh, and the function in x2 is greater than the function in x1, it's obvious it's increasing. Look, look at this example. Suppose one function could travel like that. Uh -huh. In this first interval, you pick two values of the x, x1, x2. I assume que x2 is bigger, no? And the y value associated is this, y1 and y2. Remember, y1 and y2 is synonym y2, y1 is the same. You know, they are perfect corresponding with the y and function notation. Uh -huh, entonces it's increasing. It's increasing, it's increasing. So it's super easy. It's super easy because you suppose one mnemonic device to remember very well this. You suppose que this, this graph is a roller coaster. A roller coaster. And to say, I one roller coaster car travel on the roller coaster track. See, the roller coaster car goes up, it's increasing. See, the roller coaster car is going down, it's decreasing. So, at this interval, the function is decreasing. And see the roller coaster car stay at the same high is constant. No, in this case, let me complete the, the this idea. Decreasing is when when the function in x2 is, is less than the function x1. Decrease is going down. And in this case, no, in this case stay the same. X2 is equal. Okay, because the anemone divide, this is, this, is, this is increasing, this is constant, I suppose. My sketch is not good, but you suppose it's a line, it's a horizontal line. Eh? It's going down, and this is also constant in this interval. And now, finally, this is increasing. This is easy, super easy to understand. And what is the problem? Because some students fail. Well, the problem is okay, to express the answer, we need interval. Let me use in the green color. And in this interval, in this interval, but the interval, you express it using value of the domain, so x value. So suppose, hypothetically, this is zero and this is two. So in the interval, in the interval, in the interval from zero to two, In the interval from zero to two, the function is increasing. Uh, I, uh, but it's also increasing in this interval. Uh -huh. Suppose, uh -huh. suppose that you stop here, but see you don't stop. The symbolic way to indicate this idea is one arrow. Suppose one arrow like that. This does mean that this continues forever. But see, the arrow do not exist is because the function stop here and the domain ending in that part. So an increasing interval is supposed to be here. Another interval, suppose that this is six, suppose that this is seven, suppose that this is eight, and suppose that this is 10. So this is a union, a to 10. So is, the function is increasing in two intervals. Que hay indique use in green color. The function is decreasing in two interval. In this interval, no, no, sorry, no, this no. In this interval, it's only decreasing, no? It's going down. Six to seven. No more. Okay, so it's six to seven. Decrease. And it's constant. Let me use another color, rainbow color, constant. In this interval, from 2 to 6 and to 7 to 8. So say 2 to 6 and 7 to 8. Uh -huh. Then, one of the professors, I have a doubt, I have a question. What happened with the, with the endpoint? What is the reason that you suppose always 
uh, parenthesis and never bracket. No include this, you no, know, because it's the transition point. So, so the behavior a little bit before two is increasing. However, a little bit after two is constant. So, so what is the behavior specific in two? Mm -mm. Transition point. Transition point. Transition point. Transition point not included inside the interval, but increasing, decreasing, or constant. So that we have many ways of the transition point. Suppose transition point like that. Or oh, suppose transition point like that. Ah, this transition point is more interesting because the function is increasing and after decreasing. And when this situation happens, this guy is called local maximum. But I don't care that part. This is calculus part. In, in algebra, I don't care the transition point. The only thing I need to understand is I do, I do not include the transition point in the, in the interval. It's increasing and decreasing. So say, now, you say, no, professor, this is a piece of okay. I understand very well. No, no. A lot of people make a mistake in this question because the question is tricky. Then suppose this. Suppose this example. Look. Uh -huh. And this information is given. Look, it's a function like that. And this point is a point minus 4,0. And this point is a point uh, 4,0. And this point is 0, 0,4. This is a y axis. This is x axis. So the question say determine, determine whether. The graph is increasing, decreasing. Determine the interval over. The function is decreasing, increasing, and constant. Write your answer in interval notation. What do you think? We have increasing or not? Uh -huh. Sorry, and this is arrow, and this is arrow. Increasing. And what interval you consider gets increasing? It's easy, but it's tricky. You put intentionally tricky. Opinion. Are you tired or you you are here or no? Okay. We yes, we have increasing. Uh huh. And what interval is increasing? And in what interval is increasing? And in what interval is increasing? Help me, please. And what interval is increasing? Uh, Berica, no, no, I need interval, Randy. I need interval, I need something to something. Uh, suppose a stupid idea from negative four to zero, from negative four to zero, it's increasing. And what about negative five, negative six, negative seven? Is it included inside the function or no? Ah, uh, uh, exactly. I like the idea. It's from negative infinity, comma, zero. Uh -huh. This, this is the interval in which the function is increasing. This continue forever and stop here. Okay, it's from negative infinity to zero is increasing. Remember, this is the roller coaster car. It's going up. And you say, Professor, I don't understand why it's going up. See, this arrow is going down. This arrow, mm -hmm, you need to understand the meaning of this arrow. This arrow, the only thing that indicates that this continues forever in that direction, but it's not the direction of the motion because the motion is always in the x axis, in the x axis from left to right. Left to right. This is the direction in the x. And the direction in the y, one well, of the appendices, is going up, increasing as it's going down. Decreasing, no? It's obvious that the roller coaster car travel from left to right here always. In that case, it's uh, not a roller coaster car, no? And so, what is the what is decreasing? What is decreasing? Decreasing. What is the answer for decreasing? What is the interval gets decreasing? Uh huh. Right, exactly. From zero. To positive end the story align and constant and constant in this specific example
Okay, this is the, the green color is decreasing. Uh-huh. Never, non, very well, very well, very well. Non, non constant, never constant. Uh -huh. entonces, okay, entonces es confusing because this information gets given is confusing. 4,0, negative 4,0, and 0, 0,4 confused the student. And the student write a stupid thing like that. A decreasing professor from four to, to infinity. No, because four is a Y value. And you express it, the interval always. No, no, no. Zero, zero is the transition point. Look, by basically, zero represents local max. And local max, what is the behavior before zero increasing? What is the behavior after the zero decreasing? What is the behavior specific in zero? No behavior. Right? Because because it's local maximum. Local max is the, is the negative indicate when you have local max, is because the function increasing, tiki, 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 I stop, no increasing anymore, and it start decreasing, it's going down. This, this is the definition of the local max. And local mean or minimum is the same, but in opposite direction, when the function is going, it's going down, and after stop, no, no down anymore. Boo, and it's going up. This is local mean. And we have another kind of the uh, stupid transition point like that, no? This is increasing to constant. But this is no local maximum, no local mean. Local max local minimum is when you increasing and stop, no increasing anymore, and decreasing. And local mean is decreasing, stop de decreasing anymore and increasing. And this is increasing and constant. It's no name. It's just transition. Transition is the point in which change the behavior. Okay? Before it's increasing, after it's decreasing, change the behavior, transition point, no classification. Any question? Super. So I propose to you now start at the beginning review package. Everyone, everyone receive the review package. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. See, some students do not receive. Please let me know, but no now. Let me know. Email me. I reply with the document. Okay, let's start review. Review for test number one. Uh huh. Uh, of course, you can ask me any question because we go over again to the same. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The, no, no, Safra. See, the student do not have. You email me, I reply, no, no, because I'm teaching. Because I need to use another computer. Okay, no, no, it's, it's no, no, no complicated process, but no, no, I don't want distraction my attention. I focus in mathematics now. Okay, so the first example is compute square yeah. root negative 16 times square root negative 25. Immediately, <clears throat> can you have a square root? And inside the square root, we have negative number. It's because this answer is imaginary. And you compute square root 16, get 4. Now i get the imaginary unit. Time, phi i. This is 20, i squared. Yeah, I know very well k i squared is negative 1. The answer is negative 20. Any question? Any question? It's completely wrong. It's completely wrong, completely wrong, put together in only one radical. And negative 16 and negative 25 is 400 and the square root of 100 is 20. Look, the answer is not 20, the answer is negative 20. So when you see one radical can contain number inside negative, immediately it's imaginary side. You say you compute it. 
square root is, you compute it separately. This is radical 16 times i, radical 25 times i. It's a four, it's a five, i squared. And you are aware in i squared is negative one, no? Any question, guy? Let's do a number two, gets very, very similar. Square root, negative 81, times square root, negative nine. This is 9i, and this is 3i, no? This is 27i squared, and negative 27. Uh -huh. to send the test on paper, I need that you are doing it step by step. Uh, you are a genius, and you put directly negative 27. Mm -mm. Where I come from this? I don't understand. Zero point for you. OK? Any question? Everyone follow me? Are you tired? Ah, no, no. Okay. Number three, this is, I promise one question like that in the desk. I promise one question like that in the desk. Okay. Uh, the review and the test is, is similar. Very, very, they are family. I don't want to review the thing I don't put in the test. So says, a operation with the complex number five plus a i minus a one plus a i again plus parentheses two plus ten i. Normally, the complex number you enclose in the parentheses, you know, but you remove the parentheses. It's five plus a i minus one. This minus affect everything inside the second complex number. And the one is plus, no, it's the same. Ready, ready, ready to combine. Real power, real power, real power. Five minus one and four plus two and six. Imaginary power, imaginary power, imaginary power. Positive A and negative A is cancel out. Zero. Stay only thing I. And it's all. And the final answer, all with you enclose in the box. Because I want to know. Okay, this is the final answer. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I don't know why some student make a mistake in this question. It's super easy. Some student try to make foil. Wow, what the hell foil? Foil one is multiplication, but addition and subtraction no foil. Clear or not clear? Uh huh. Okay. Let's move on to number four. Ah, number four, yes. Number four is multiplication. Three minus four i times two plus five i. Yes, in this case, multiplication. The multiplication is four. Two four. The multiplication, three times two, six. 3 times 5i is 15i. Negative 4 uh, and negative 8i. Hey, 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 what's going on? Put it off the microphone. Um, finally, is negative 4 times 5 is minus 20i I, I, I squared. Okay, I do foil. Of course, Never leave it like that because I know k okay, i square is no i is i square but negative one. And we have double negative to so say six plus fifteen i minus a i plus twenty, no? Plus twenty because this negative one and this negative together become positive. So we combine real part six is real, twenty is real, twenty six. Positive both. And the imaginary part, this and this is self. Finals. Don't. Any question, guy? So in the test, you can find uh, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. No division. No division. I don't know why, but no division. Let's move on to number five. Number five is number five, number six, number seven, and number eight is a quadratic equation, no? somehow. Number five is 
x plus 8 squared equal 17. Uh-huh. The thing is that you need to select properly what method you using for solution for the quadratic equation. What is the best way? We can expand this using quadratic formula, but it's too long. Uh -huh. uh, we get the same answer. Of course, we get the same answer. But in this case, the easy way is using a square root method. Why? Because somebody do the job. Okay, factorization this. So when you apply a square root both sides, you know, okay, square root and square is cancel out. And on the right hand side, we have plus or minus square root 17. 17 is a primary number. So we have no simplification, even like that. And therefore, the uh, sub for x is minus 8 plus or minus square root 17. And it's the final answer. Actually, we have two solutions. No? Uh, you can write like that if you want. A solution set is negative 8 plus radical 17, comma, negative 8 minus radical 17. However, I prefer that way, negative 8 plus or minus, because you condense in both answers in only one symbolic way, you know, 17. It's equivalent. Everyone understands very well get this. Uh -huh. Does it now, remember, and teacher, I like to put a solution set using the curly bracket. However, if you leave it like that and close on the box, I understand very well. Super. No problem. Uh -huh. Guys, take advantage. I suppose that this test is easy. Yeah, next test is more complicated, more complicated, more complicated, more complicated. Okay, number six question. Number six. Number six is x squared plus x plus three equal to zero. In this case, the, the suggestion is using quadratic formula. Okay, I like that. So you determine uh, it's already expressing a standard because right hand side is zero. And you, you determine the A one, B one, and C three. I using my famous quadratic formula. And I'm plugging in, plugging in, plugging in into the quadratic formula, the specific number in our specific example. To the negative one plus or minus the square root. 1 squared by 4 multiplication by 1 multiplication by 3. Okay, see. By 3. Okay, see. Divided by 2 times 1. Uh, now you focus on the operation inside the radical, no? According to the order of operation. Let's do in that part first. Uh -huh. And this is 1. And this is 12, and this is negative 11. And the square root negative 11, remember this big square root is imaginary, it's i radical 11. Because 11 is a primary number, we cannot simplification anymore. Uh, so we expect complex solution. The solution then is negative one, plus or minus radical 11, sorry, i radical 11, it doesn't matter. The, the, the place, can you put it I? I prefer in the, in the first place, divided by two. Uh -huh. Wait, one sophisticated detail. When it's complex, normally the typical format for this present the complex number is A plus IB. A real part, an imaginary part. So you split this common denominator, it's a negative one half, it's a real part, plus or minus I, a radical 11 over two. And it's in my beautiful finance. Good. Uh, sometimes the solution is real or sometimes it's complex. Uh, the reading test will be posted in the, no, 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 I say by email, I say by email. I say individual by email. And you confirmation that you receive. You reply me, professor, I got it, I got it. Okay, this is, I, I suppose that we are doing this job 
next Thursday, no? Next Thursday uh -huh, is 28. Today is 21st. Uh -huh. I suppose in this moment we finish the review or we finish before. Uh, no, I don't know. Suppose que, que you are super students. Nobody asked me a lot of questions, no? So we're moving fast. And maybe we finish the review uh, 26. However, I follow in the calendar. So say, uh, maybe the class or the lecture or the video for 28, suppose que we have no information. I open here, do you ask me any question about the review, about the Alex? Okay. Okay, that was number six, no? Uh, number seven. Number seven. Number seven is again another quadratic equation, but they want mandatory doing by completing the square. You have to solve in this quadratic equation. But mandatory by complete square. Uh -huh. Suppose that you don't respect and you solve them by quadratic formula, zero for you. Okay, this is another technique I need to evaluate. Complete square organization is x squared plus 4x plus a box. Inside the box, I put a magic number. That completed the square, and what about 29? 29 move to the right hand side plus the box in order to keep the equilibrium for the equation. Uh huh. And so, what's the magic number in that case? Magic number can complete the square. <clears throat> what is the magic number that complete the square? Do you remember the formula or no? Yeah. And four, and four, and magic number four. Look, the formula is b over 2 squared. In our specific example, b is 4, 4 divided by 2 squared. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. It's a coincidence, it's 4. Now what we have but in this case. Uh -huh. So now, when this is completely square, this trinomial is perfect square, and the factorization is only one parenthesis, x plus 2 squared. Do you understand very well where I come from this or no? Yeah. Sure? Okay, super. In the yeah. right hand side, we have minus 25. Now ready to apply to our robot side. Mm -hmm. Apply the square root method again. So say x plus 2 is equal plus or minus. Don't forget plus or minus always when you apply square root. The square root 25, 5, per side. Because it's a negative quantity inside the rank. Finally, x is equal to minus 2, plus or minus 5. End of the story. Yeah. Two complex solution. Can you do another word? Uh, what? OK, OK. Call you. I can. Or I can. Of course, I can. Completely out the review, no? Right, let me use my imagination. X squared minus 10x plus, plus 5 equal to 0. Uh -huh. By complete the square again, guy. By complete the square again, guy. Mm -hmm. So the organization is clear. X squared minus 10x plus a box. Equal uh -huh. five, I move to the right hand side and the box. Uh -huh. What is the magic number in that case? Yeah. It's 25. It's 25 because 10 divided by 2 is square. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 5 is square is 25. So I introduce totally artificially 25, 25. Uh -huh. So this, I guarantee, 25 guarantee that this is a perfect square trinomial and the factorization is x minus 5 squared. In the right-hand side, we have 20. 20, no? 25 minus 5, 20. 
Now apply square root both side. Uh -huh. X minus five without without square is equal plus or minus square root twenty. But twenty, you know, twenty is five and four, no? And square root five is square root five plus square root four is two. So this is equivalent to say plus or minus two radical five. Okay, now finally, so for x is five plus or minus two radical five. Beautiful finance. Any question complete the square? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the number eight question. Okay, eight. Eight is, ooh, this is actually no quadratic. Oh, I make a mistake. I put X and put Z. No, C is X. O is the, o is, is C and both. No, one, only one variable. Equation with the two variables have infinity solution. Fix it there in the review package. Uh -huh. This is actually Equation is called a quadratic from. This equation that we can transform into quadratic using the u substitution. U is equal x squared. So you 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 realize we have two exponents, four and two. But the relationship between the exponent is twice. Okay, four is two times two, no? Uh -huh. so you we can we can convert. This equation que actually is no quadratic equation, is quadratic from to the quadratic actual quadratic equation. You substitute, you substitution. look, zero is zero, 12 is 12. Uh, uh, minus AU, because you, you take always the expression que contain the smaller exponent, and this is twice, so this is U squared. In this moment, this equation is quadratic. No quadratic in front, it's quadratic. Just quadratic, regular quadratic. Well, I try to solve it, but in this case, I suppose it's better by factorization, no? Because the combination is six and two. Six times two is 12, and six plus two is eight, negative both, no? And uh, so we separate in two equations, u minus six equal to zero, u minus two equal to zero. Factor, this is called uh, solving by factor, zero factor property, is in a zero factor property. You separate, when you factorization, you separate, you take each factor is equal to zero and the solution is this or this. U6 and U2. Pero no, 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 this is not the final answer. Remember, our original equation is quadratic from, but it's polynomial and degree of four. We expect four solutions. Polynomial equation, degree four, we expect four solutions. Uh -huh, but we obtain four solutions when you replace immediately U for X squared. So in this moment, we have two separately quadratic equations. Yeah, I suppose that we have two solutions in this quadratic equation and two solutions and two plus two and four. In this case, it's super easy. You apply square root both sides. X is equal plus or minus radical six. And X is equal plus or minus radical two. One negative and one positive, yeah, correct, yeah. One positive and one negative, yeah. And to say, okay, wait, wait, wait. how you write the final answer? Uh, the final answer is a uh, solution set is plus or minus like a six, comma, plus or minus like a two. No. Uh -huh. Everything matches perfectly. The degree of the original equation is degree four. Polynomial equation, degree four, we obtain four solutions. Okay, 
But what was the transformation? The transformation is I convert, I realize que es cuadrado en front. I convert using your substitution the original equation and quadratic equation, but I use a new variable, que es you, auxiliar. And this is make easy my, my job. Now I solve in the quadratic equation. Either way, quadratic formula, factorization, complete square, either, either way that you want. And when you get the u value, you replace u for x square because that was the u substitution, and you obtain two new quadratic equations. And these two new quadratic equations give me two solutions separately, individual. It's plus or minus radical six and plus or minus radical two. Well, six is no prime number. Two is a prime, but six is two and three. Oh, but unfortunately, we have no couple to simplification. So radical six is the same. Any question? Well, okay, okay. Uh, I propose you. Okay, no question, no question. I propose you do today until question twelve and stop, okay, because we have time, okay? This is a reward of us that we are the best. Uh -huh. However, uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12, done. Because I, I need to finish at 11, 11, because I have another uh, class. I need to prepare the idea for the another class at 11, 15, and this guy is horrible, okay? Let's move on to number nine. Number nine is, oh, number nine is a radical equation. Wow, this is hard. And don't forget, radical equation, checking. It's important, checking radical equation. It's square root x plus seven plus five outside equal x. This is my radical equation. You see at least one radical radical equation. And remember, mandatory checking. Because sometimes, sometimes no. Frequently, we get straining solution. You have to check it mandatory. So you isolate the radical. Mm -hmm. And going to eliminate the radical, you square both sides. The radical and the square cancel out each other. It's x plus seven only. And here you foil. x square minus i minus five again plus 25 x plus 7 is equal x square minus 10x plus 25 so in this moment i realize that we are from one quadratic equation but the problem is the only thing you should do is organization this quadratic equation Putting a standard. You move this and this to the right. We have zero on the left hand side. X squared minus 10x plus 25 minus x minus 7. Uh -huh. So zero is equal x squared minus 11, you know, 11 x uh, plus. Uh, 25 minus 9 is, is 16. Is 18 or 18? 25 minus 7 is 18, yeah. It's 18. Okay, does it, uh, okay. Does I can write more, much better like that to feel more comfortable? 11x plus 18 equals 0. Okay, now ready? to solving this quadratic equation. In this case, I suppose case by factorization is the easy way, no? You like or you don't like factorization? Okay, my recommendation is, you spend only two seconds. Yeah. I like, uh -huh. run this, I like. Okay, 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 my, my recommendation is, you can see, si es easy or no, because sometimes it's super complicated to see the combination, but see, and, and you spend two seconds, not three seconds, two seconds. So you see the combination, you apply factorization. So you don't see anything, quadratic well, formula. Okay? But in this case, it's easy because it's nine and two, no? Nine and two. 
9 times 2 is 18, and 9 plus 2 is 11, negative both. And one more time, you apply a 0, 5, 2 property, and we get the solution, okay, it's 9 and 2. Okay, and this is the most important moment, checking part. Check it where? In the original equation. I want to copy here the original. No, plus five. Should be X. This is my original equation. Checking nine and checking two here. Nine, nine, two, two. I need to verification. Okay, this is a true or false. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Nine and seven is 16, no? 16. What was it? I think it's four. And four plus five is nine. Yes. Same is true. Mean. Okay, nine is a solution. This solution is good. However, two plus seven is nine. Well, nine three and three plus five no is not two. Let's say the same is completely false. Now the solution two doesn't work, and my final answer is then the solution for this equation is just nine. The original equation. I never touch. Waited for this moment. Look, solution set and nine. Any question? It's too long? It's easy or it's complicated? Easy. Okay, Andreina. Okay. Let's move on to the actual value. 10, 11, and 12. Okay, this, I promise you see one question of each in the test. 10 is equation, equal sign, absolute value of m plus two, equals seven. And remember, remember, you copy. You copy the expression inside the bar two times. Because we generate two equations. And one equation is obtained when you put seven, exactly the same. So the only thing you, I remove this bar, look. No, this part anymore. But this is equal to negative seven. Oh, in this case, I change the sign of the right hand side. And you have two equations. You solve them separately, bam, bam. And the solution is two solutions. And this two solution when your right hand side positive number, we have two solutions. Well, subtracting two. 7 minus 2 is 5. Divided by 5. Oh, is 1. This is my first solution. Second solution is 5m is equal to minus 7 minus 2 and negative 9. Divided by 5. Well, it's a fraction. Negative 9 over 5. Okay, two solution. Solution set for this equation is one and negative nine over five. Guys, the order is totally irrelevant. Doesn't matter. Uh, you need to understand that the set is the collection of the object. And the object is, for example, people, Maria Jose. It's the same set, it's the same thing. Maria Jose and Jose Maria, it's the same. Uh, the order is not important. Some people write in different order, minus nine over five, comma one, it's the same. Because it's a set. It's another thing, ar arrangement. is important, the position, but no, it's no arrangement. It's the set. Any question? No? Are you boring, guy? Are you boring? <laughs> this is no. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do 11 and 12. Uh, 11 is 
this is a, in my opinion, when I teach in this class, every semester, some people confuse in that part. Look, 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 look. It's actual value, seven X plus eight, less than 20. Uh -huh. Entonces, immediately you recognize less than or greater than. When it's less than, my answer contain only one interval, one interval. When it's greater than, my answer contain two interval. Okay, keep in mind, some people fail because immediately I, when they check the test, I see it here, you put two interval. Wrong, zero for you, okay, zero. Zero for you. So you put one interval, oh, well, depending if you are doing well, it's correct. One interval when it's less than, two interval when it's greater than. And how you set up, how you convert this inequality and in one equivalent inequality or compound inequality. When you copy 7x plus a one time, and this is in between 20 and negative 20. And that's it. Subtracting a, subtracting a, because I want to solve for x, say so minus 28, 7x, this is canceled, that was intention, and this is 12. Finally, divided by 7. Uh, remember, when you divide by positive number inequality, the sign stays the same, no reverse. When you divide by positive, it stays the same. You divide by negative, you reverse. Pero no, no, in this case, no, yeah, positive. Negative four, less than X, less than 12 over seven. It's a fraction. Uh-huh, but in the test, I ask you express the final answer in interval notation. Interval notation is easy, it's negative four, comma, 12 over seven. Parenthesis, parenthesis, because we have no equal. We have no equal, a parenthesis, equal bracket. Okay, this is the finals. Mm -hmm. Any question, guy? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, let's do it in the last school for today, of course. 12. 12 is. Uh, actual value 2 minus 3x greater than or equal 10. Mm. So new complication when it's greater than and equal. So this is the this inequality is a combination inequality and equation. Both. Uh -huh, but well, okay. The only thing uh, you need to know is when it's included the endpoint, you put a bracket, no? I suppose. But this greater than. This so greater than, I suppose, can we have two intervals? How you form it? How you find the equivalent compound inequality to this? Why don't you copy this two times? You copy greater than or equal 10 and less than or equal 5 to 10. And actually, this is no two inequality. No, no, it's only one compound that's formed by this or this. But the solution is easy. You solve it separately both. And finally, we put together. Okay, you join both solutions. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's focus on the first one. The first one is minus 3x greater than or equal 10 minus 2. Minus 3x greater than or equal minus 8. No? Divided by negative 3. Be careful. When you divide by negative number inequality, you have to reverse it. This sign. A over 3. And this is my first piece, A over 3. My second piece is know, minus 3x, less than or equal, minus 10, minus 2, no? Uh -huh. Minus 3x, less than or equal, minus 12. Divided by negative 3, the same, the same idea. Don't forget, when you divide a multiplication, one entire inequality by negative number, you have to reverse the design. Okay, and finally, 
Mm, we need to connecting this solution and this solution using or. And or means union. Union is intersection. Uh -huh. Let me see. To say my recommendation is to understand much better. You are doing the or and number line. Infinity positive, infinity negative. And you put the numbers. Okay, this is zero in the middle. Uh -huh. um, a over three and decimal is approximately, I put in my calculator, 2.6 repeated, no? Uh, one, two, three, here, approximately. A over three. Ah, it's negative. No, it's positive. It's positive. It's positive because negative divided by negative is positive, no? It's okay or no? I did well or no? Uh, 10 minus two is, oh, yes. 10 minus 2 is positive 8. And positive 8 divided by negative 3 and minus. You are right, mister. Super. Thank you. So it says no positive. It's negative. Uh -huh. So it says negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Approximately here, 2.3. This is the position, approximate, that number. Yes, to the left, no? It's to the left. And to the left, is from negative infinity to this. Of course, include the endpoint because it's equal. And equal include the endpoint. Super. Now four. One, two, three, and four. Four is here in the opposite direction. In the opposite direction because it's greater than. So include four in the opposite direction. Oh, super. So what's my final answer? In interval notation, one of my final answer in interval notation is answer from negative infinity, comma, this is negative, so. negative a over three, bracket union, because it's both bracket four comma infinity. Uh huh. And uh, remember, in infinity positive and infinity negative, never you put a bracket because infinity is no number. It's a symbol to indicate that this continues forever and you never reach. Question? No. no? Okay. Eleven o'clock. We finish, guy. Stop. We continue next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Thank you. My pleasure. Work with you. I need a student like you. I need a student like you. Another student I have is horrible. Don't understand anything. Okay, take care. Take care.